So CLA is a massive problem on TikTok Live. Following in the footsteps of her idol, Elphaba, uh, she's always causing a stir. Most recently, she's been caught screaming and shouting nonsense on TikTok Live, smashing up a hospital to the amusement of nobody, and for some reason, styling bin bags. Let me show you this and so much more because it's very clear to see that CLA needs to stop. So hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Jake Baz. We cover the weird and wonderful on the internet. And today we're going to be covering a side character in the Elphaba universe. CLA, Chelsea Lee R. I believe it, she is one of the most divisive people on the TikTok platform. She's a TikTok liver and she's known mainly for her outbursts, her shouting and her screaming. Prime example here. Carry on banging and I'll send the footage to the council. She really does just let it all go on TikTok Live. I'd really be worried if I were a neighbours and she's really an odd situation. And I think the best way to introduce you to the kind of person that she is is actually through one of our old friends, Elphaba. Because her and CLA seem to have had a little bit of a back and forth. This is a TikTok Live rankings drama and it's ridiculous. It's so stupid. But CLA and Elphaba used to be mates before they started to have beef. So this entire thing, it just gets mental. But before I get into this, if you enjoy the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe hit the bell notification if you can i'm a very small channel and i'd love to see you back so yeah elphaba can't keep her mouth shut about anything can she her and cla seem to have quite a uh, tepid sort of relationship uh, the last thing that we knew about them is that she met cla a couple of months ago and got kicked out of her house and cla was saying some horrible things and because there's this tiktok ranking thing going on at the moment that's uh, embarrassing it's who can get the most gifts essentially goes to the us elphaba's obviously gonna want to win so she got defensive she got really defensive which She's really out the ordinary for her. And she just had to drop a nuke on CLA, didn't she? 82.7k, they're not in our team. They're Roots Army, remember that. They're not our team, okay? They're not a part of our army. They want us to fail because so she can win. No bitch, no bitch. Mm -mm. But it is a little bit ironic uh, chatting shit about someone and then also throwing up love heart signs. To be honest, I wouldn't like to be part of either team. Ain't gonna happen. We're gonna fucking slay this. Because you know what? She's boring to watch. She won't be able to get to America anyway. She's got convictions. That's what I say. You know what? The Roots Army and people, they're, they're not my team. Mm -mm. And they're here right now. And I see you coming in the chat, spying on. Well, girl. You better tell Chelsea. What is Alpha on today? Jesus Christ. Feeling sassy. She's met, she's met a match. Because I'm coming for number two. Guess I am. And you know what? I can stay up all night for this. Mm. She's going to self-destruct herself online. That's what I'm going to say. Why are you all sticking up for her? Ah, is it because she's not trans? Exactly. That's what I think. If she was trans and I was trans, then do you know what I mean? Because I'm trans, people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to discriminate you, and I'm going to hate on you, and I'm going to do this and that. And then, our oh, Roots, she isn't trans, she's a cisgender woman, and she's been transphobic to me, I've been horrible. Oh, she's going to get more gifts, more support, because she isn't in a minority community, so therefore, no one can pick on her. Once again, Alphaba, I wouldn't be using this issue to kind of explain the fact that people don't want to gift you as much because you are a horrible person. CLA is terrible. <laughs> She's terrible. And maybe, yeah, she might get a couple more gifts, but uh, you, you're battling. It's a mid-off. It's fucking mid-off. No one can actually her because she does not have anything to be paid with. That's the truth. <clears throat> See all up her ass. As you'll see later in the video, there is plenty that we can pick on here. <clears throat> See all up her ass. She's up her ass because, you know, she's normal. Jamie. You know I mean? is just mad that she's losing, but uh, the fact that CLA is definitely not normal. She's not a normal person that you would walk into uh, and see in the shop. Uh, nah, nah, that's not true. Horrible. She's not a nice person. You have to understand that. In real life, if you ever meet her, she ain't nice. She isn't nice. Even behind the camera, she isn't nice. Thank you, guys. She won't go as viral, that's honesty. She's, she's dying out. She's got an expiry date now. Like, people are getting bored of watching her. She's repetitive, like, really, really. 19 years. She's older than me as well, so she's kind of dying out anyway. I'm just more relevant. I'm more, I'm more fun to watch, to be honest. I'm more relevant. I'm more fun. I'm more, like... Like, she doesn't glam up herself, that's the thing. She doesn't glam herself up. Like, I glam myself up. 
she's just so self-obsessed but this this isn't a video for her uh that, that 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 is embarrassing that is embarrassing but like i said why is this the case well uh tiktok is having a battle at the moment uh with the weekly rankings which is who could get the most gifts essentially and this seems to be at the end of this tunnel a trip to america to tiktok hq uh, as well as like a load of different brand things potentially and whoever gets in the top two i believe ends up going to america so uh, it seems to have just become like this massive mid-off really of who could be the biggest scumbag on tiktok live to beg and beg and beg and beg for gifts in the hopes of going to america and uh, being this exact same person over there and I, I think americans would take very nicely to the type of people that you and CLA are. It quite literally is who can be the biggest scab. So I think we now need to see how uh, CLA was reacting on TikTok Live in reaction to this. The chances of anyone else getting anywhere near that podium are very slim to none. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, bollocks. Cerise, thank you, Becky, thank you. Get the streak, guys. Anyone got a glove? Anyone got a glove? Anyone got a glove? Get that streak. Someone snipe, snipe. OG, thank you, thank you. Snipe. How are 4,000 people watching this? What what much better things could you be doing with your time rather than just seeing someone shaking back and forth while screaming for gifts? What is the pull with TikTok Live here? I, I've never understood it and I never will. It's like the bottom of the barrel sort of content creation. And honestly, just really weird. Oh, we've got so many gloves, guys. Come on, we've got gloves. Someone drop a glove, please. Snipe. Thank you, go away. Snipe. <laughs> We need a glove! Snipe, guys! Let's go! 20 seconds! Cadence! Let's go, guys! Keep pushing! To me, I really feel like I'm just watching a creep scream at me across the screen, and uh, there's plenty of better places I can go for that. We Coco, can... Margaret, thank you! Terry, thank you! <laughs> You've done it. You took it. You've done it on the third one! Yes! Do you want to keep going, Grace? Keep going if you want to. That's what I mean. Do you want to keep going? Do you want to keep restarting it and begging for more gifts like i don't get it how much money can we scab off 13 year olds that have got a couple of thousand tiktok coins to look at a gimmick on a screen i don't battle anybody on the rankings at all ever the only reason like obviously i've accepted you and stuff is because it's a bit of friend like we've got like friendly competition in the community and that people yeah, want, yeah. people want us to battle thank you do you not normally battle grace no not really i won't lie see you later i don't love your battles like i said tiktok's just stunned me the way that the environment is on there. The, this entire idea of a, a live battle, a uh, mid-off, it, it just doesn't entertain me at all. And CLA begging, 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 begging for gifts is bad, but everyone else does that. What makes us such a problem? Well, I think the weirdness is one of them. Uh, prime example is another form of amazing entertainment. Italian? <laughs> oh, do I sound Italian? Marshallah, alhamdulillah, Abibi. Didn't realise that she was a woman of culture. Mm. Nostrils. Mm. Nostrils. Come on, baby. Nostrils. Internal scream, I can't. What? What is that? That's so cringe. That, oh, wh why? Why is that there? Why are they both entertaining it? What's going on? Where am I? It's on a level with like fart humour and just the nostrils. How's that funny? <laughs> Why don't you turn the smoother off, you bitch? Turn it off like me, look. No smoother. Yeah, you've probably got the teeth whitener on full blast and the smoother on. I know you're old, older than me. How old are you, 45? Egg? You've definitely passed yourself by the 45. What is she violating him for? What has he done wrong? I thought there was love in the air, but clearly that's gone. 42, I am 42. I, well, I thought so. Definitely not 32. I know that. <laughs> Lost the rose in your cheeks, darling. <laughs> of the king! Do king! Leute zusammen, knall die weg! God, uh, do you, like, <laughs> um, mental health matters, you know? There's no need to be so loud, you know? What is she mumbling? Dubai. I mashallah alhamdulillah. Oh, you come not from Dubai. <laughs> I am oh. from Dubai. Mashallah alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. <laughs> I did, oh, this is nice. <laughs> that 
was very good, brother. Well done. I like you now. I'll give you a follow. Follow me back because I'm a famous bitch. How stuck up do you have to be? Follow me back because I'm a famous bitch. I wonder why you're so famous. Uh, it, it has to be something to do with how mental you are on the platform. Just me? Just me? All right, I'll, I'll go home. So, totally normal form of entertainment. But this doesn't really paint her as a problem. Uh, she seems a bit stuck up, but uh, it seems like it's some form of, like, low bottom of the barrel shit. But if you noticed, uh, I'm a famous bitch, uh, that seems to run across the entirety of what she does online. Because, you know, you can't just be a little bit stuck up. You've got to be 100%, don't you? And if you're wondering what I mean by this, basically, she went to the hospital last week. As I've heard, she had toothache and a bit of stomach pain and the outcome of this because uh, she decided to tiktok live stream the entire thing which once again we talked about el fubba before but uh, the way that people on tiktok live just constantly stream their entire lives it's so embarrassing I, I don't know why people do it it achieves nothing and it just makes you look like you are a bit weird. But because she was streaming it, uh, she got kicked out of A&E, quite literally. And the reasons why is because she was being a scab. I'm live on my TikTok. I'm not filming no one. Now leave me alone. Excuse me, madam. Please. I'm going. Wait, you can go. We're not holding right, Listen, I've got my screen. I'm working. This is my job, right? I'm here. The way she goes, I've just got my screen on. She literally just pops it on the second before she fucking shows them. The way that she's speaking to these staff is actually embarrassing. You need to think that these are like professional medical assistants. They deal with enough stress and the last thing they want is some arsehole that's on TikTok Live whilst... Everyone around them is in A&E struggling, uh, doing anything. It's so selfish to do something like that. Just be shouting and screaming in A&E whilst there's other people sat around you who've maybe broken the leg, something more serious. If you were that bad, you wouldn't have gone on TikTok Live, wouldn't you? I've come here, I've said to her, they've not called my name. The ambulance have brought me here. <gasps> The, the dentist have given me an infection under a new filling, right? Okay. And, and, and it needs sorting out. Now, I've got chest pains, I've got this, I've got that. I'm in the public eye with billions of views. I mean, they've leaked my address, I get trolled. And, and she just spoke to me like I'm a criminal. I'm a TikToker. I've done nothing wrong. I'm famous. I'm an artist. Imagine Midran explaining that you've done nothing wrong, mentioning that you're famous. What a stuck up prick. She must only be smelling shit the way she's that far up her own ass. I'm not doing anything wrong. I've come to hospital because the ambulance have brought me here. And look what you're doing to me now. So what we're asking you is yeah. the A&E department. We can't have any filming. I'm not filming. I'm talking. It, look, you are filming. look, you're not on the camera. You're not on the camera you're not on the camera you're not on the camera as she pops in and out of the camera yeah sure but then also yeah just making sure that she can see the background and the uh oh i'm not filming anything even though you literally were seconds before it but uh nice try see you later nice try in a public place uh, it's a public hospital no no i wasn't around any other patients i've just been in the corner on my own we don't know what could be happening in the department well this is my safety i've got every right we're asking you not to do it when you're in the department which I think is so fair. if someone comes and attack me, where's the evidence? Yeah. What a stupid thing to say. So you're on TikTok Live 24 hours a day because of the fact of in, ca in case anyone comes near you and like attacks you, you've got evidence. What do you think 99.99999% of the other population that doesn't TikTok Live all the time uh, would be thinking about that? You're clearly just trying to wriggle yourself out of a hole and you're causing a lot of annoyance to people who have already been going through that much stress in the day considering where they work. A good thing to do if you're wanting to be treated by these people is not treat them like dirt. Darling, for my seat, it's my job. I make money, darling. Do that outside. I'm asking you to turn it off. If you don't want to turn it off. Do you know how much money? I make £40,000 a week. I work for TikTok. I'm going to America. I'm an artist. Need to not do it here. You know how much money I make? I make forty grand a week, mate. Now that is fucking sick, pair. But what are you on about? What relevance does that have? And then if that does have relevance, uh, go to a private facility. Pay for it actually pay for it. But you won't do that, will you, CLA? Because uh, you don't earn 40 grand a week. Uh, that's quite obvious. 40 grand in a year, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But uh, 40 grand in a week, nah, you're delusional. And if that is the case, uh, your bank's lying to you. I'm so famous, I can't even walk the street, darling. Okay. And you've just given me more anxiety. And this is all being recorded for my evidence right. as being a TikToker in the public eye, coming to a hospital with an ambulance and getting treated like shit. Thank oh, you. No, no. Like, it's just so ironic. She's treating them like 
like shit. Like, she is the only one who's instigating this problem. Why you'd go live on TikTok Live during the middle of a health episode because you've got problems and they need addressing. And then going on to double, triple down, be an arsehole, say how much money you've got. Uh, how how ridiculous is that? Some people really do not have shame. And uh, CLA in this instance, she definitely doesn't. If you need to get treated, you probably shouldn't be like this. But obviously, once she started this terribleness, uh, she can't get out of it because uh, as you can see, she just keeps doubling down. At least she starts to ask for a private room. Because I'm a TikToker and I'm on my live now. No one's recording no one. Do they know what I've gone through? I need to go to a private room now. I can't cope. I need to go to a private room now. I'm gonna walk down here then and sit here. Can I sit here? I'm gonna sit here. I don't, I don't care. See, they've caused all this. You know how long I've been sat here waiting? All because of TikTok. She's just started on me because I'm on my phone. Go and get your private room by actually paying for it. Uh, stop this. You're in A&E in a public health facility. Uh, everyone knows how the NHS is struggling at the moment. So if you're really having problems, get off your ass. Stop worrying about the weight. Don't go on TikTok Live, that is ridiculous. And go to a private facility. But you won't do that because despite the amount of money you say you have, you don't. This sort of thing is just so annoying to me. Like, just the disrespect towards the staff is embarrassing. She won't apologize. She won't do anything. She'll just make sure that she keeps on mentioning how much money she makes and how, how much she's had done. She won't mention anything apart from the fact that she's earning a lot of money and this is her job. Well, uh, your job, I, I don't know about you, but if I went into my job and I fell ill and I need to go to hospital, uh, I wouldn't bring the entire house with me. You shut everything off and you get healthy. And uh, it's very obvious. That's it's so obvious. Obviously, you know that, but for some reason, she doesn't. Uh, I think she's deluded. Yeah, that whole situation is crazy, annoying, and uh, infuriating for me. I, I find it all just so stupid. Uh, it's so inept to not even think about anything, about anyone that's around you, and just focus on your TikTok live where you're getting gifts, maybe earning a couple hundred quid an hour. But what she did was morally irreprehensible. But it turns out everything's fine now with her, which is good. Uh, she's all healthy. That's good. And lucky for us, because she's all healthy, she uh, decided that she wanted to do a change up in the wardrobe and she started styling bin bags. Obviously, you've got to tuck in the bin bag. Oh, I, I've always been wearing them without tucking them in. Really not fashionably trendy. <laughs> Paul Breach-esque, that. So hungry. Oh my God, I didn't even start. If you're hungry, love, go get some food. But it's really cute, that outfit. Uh, I think I might try it on myself. So we know she's a bit quirky, a bit funny, a bit weird. She's really, really funny. I, I'm, I'm pissing myself. What a wacky and crazy thing to do. But it turns out that that's not her only form of entertainment. Uh, because we got further TikTok lives of her just being fucking brilliant. Because one of Chelsea Lee Yard's biggest problems on the platform is the way that she tends to just argue with herself and shout at people on TikTok Live. And in this instance, she's got her comments turned off and she's just full on ranting at the people. The definition of literally screaming at a wall. I'm just saying, I don't care no more. You'll never catch me in anything like that. <clears throat> Portraying the image. Even Central C with them stupid fucking rings fucking and... Like, what the hell? Yeah, it's a good job for you to point out these stupid rings that Central C wears whilst you're wearing about 20 items of jewellery. If I were you, I wouldn't be throwing stones in glass houses, but who am I to say? I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what you're trying to portray. I'm into fashion and shit, man. But it's just, it's, I don't know, man. Whatever, I'm not interested. Oh, well, if you're not interested, you're not going to elaborate, surely. Even Trippy Red's pissed me off pulling out things on his thing and I was like, what the fuck? I want to say something. What's going on, bro? What's this about? Is this, are, you, is this, are we teaching what we're doing? Is this like a gangster thing or something? Or what are we, what we're trying to show here? Cause that's madness what I've seen on Trippy Red's thing. Honestly, that is actually a really good uh, argument to give around this whole sort of like 
aggression on social media trying to eliminate all the violence on there but um it's also slightly ironic i find that you're talking about how other people act on social media when you are this person mouth off brag about money just be really odd and then you're trying to show this as like a oh this is this what we should want to show our kids well i don't want to show my kids you either it's all just a bit of a sticky one isn't it that's why i get so upset like oh like i feel like you know people desert me but you know i'm going through this journey on my own going through this journey on your own whilst you have loads of fans that will watch your stuff she really tries to create an origin story but uh nah nah that one's not gonna stick so yeah it's just another example of her not reading the room and realizing the kind of person that she actually is on tiktok the irony is definitely not lost which also when you add with this uh where she is essentially ranting about the fact that she is this massive creator on the platform uh, it's a little bit odd once again that you can't recognize the situation at hand tiktok my fucking tiktok who i work for you owe me about 10 universes for fucking making you all this money sweetheart so where's my universes tiktok what do you want them to print it out for you fuck my agent i've deleted my whatsapp darling that's the only way i can speak to her so fuck off then i'm not interested no more so you're going on this journey by yourself but uh you have an agent i don't i doesn't that make it two people the thing is i want to go further but I, i'm scared of getting battered fuck them i'll take time off and then they'll be trying to contact me going where are you chelsea you're not making tiktok no money no more good go and get someone else to fuck do it piss off so yeah sure thing if you want to quit tiktok go ahead and do it and uh, i'm sure they'll come running back for you because of the amount of millions of trillions of pounds that they make but i don't think she understands that she's just a very small cog in the massive tiktok machine on top of that if she decides to quit um and not upload tiktoks how do you think that'll go for a financial situation so obviously she's just shouting into the void and do you really think she'd want to quit because my understanding is considering the fact that she was live in a hospital for until she got kicked out uh no i don't think she'll quit anything i think she's addicted to tiktok live the exact sort of same thing as alphabet it's really weird it's something that you actually need help for because it's obsessive the way that people like you are constantly online you need to take a step back and be able to live in your own space without having someone staring at you from across the screen but i hope you get them universes and maybe that's your warning sign to quit your words not mine and then i also wanted to just loop back into the Elphaba situation because uh, Elphaba was actually really annoyed about the entire thing uh, because CLA has been very nasty and uh, a certain type of phobic towards her which she only was when they fell out so it's either you thought about that and you didn't say anything which um, you'd have been corrected or you're just trying to be nasty um, and I think that's a big problem you know so the whole trans she told me Alpha told me and my friends both of us she would never transition into a woman so that's probably why I've said what I've said about her anyway. Because, it, you know, so... So just refer to yourself as then. You know, a lot of people that actually don't know about people's situations like this and don't understand it uh, tend to go on this sort of rhetoric. You don't have to like physically form into a woman to actually be a woman. If you identify as that, let it be. Some people aren't comfortable with uh, using loads of hormones, having loads of operations, things like that to be able to change into who they wanted to be because of all the anxieties that the situation brings there. So for you to just bat it off and be like, oh, well, uh, she's not a woman then. That is such a backwards mindset in 2023. And the same for all you commenters that do it. Um, stop. Maybe actually educate yourself a little bit and then you might think a little bit better about the situation. Because I'm to be no one is going to be a woman like you. Evil Queen's never farted or burped or anything. You understand? So your qualifications to be a woman is whether you burp or fart. That's a new one. That's that's a real new one. Seems that I've been with men my entire life. Are you gonna class yourself as wanting to be a woman when you act and you're dirty and you and you go on the way you do and and I don't even hear men like you, sweetheart. So I don't even you're like a beast, sweetheart. And yeah, she is right. Alphabet is a scab. Um I wouldn't be hateful towards her in that sort of way about her appearance. Uh, that's really nasty. But she is a scab on the platform and uh, she, yeah, like I've said, she, she could do the shower. But once again, how does that qualify anything to do with any of that situation? It doesn't. So you're just trying to cause hate for the sake of it because you don't like her. Maybe grow up hair, educate yourself.
yeah. So this is just some of the things that CLA has been involved in in the past week. I really think the entire situations are all problematic and I really think that she needs to think about her actions. She's another situation of one of these TikTok livers who just tried to get money by any means, begging for gifts, just being a moral, irreprehensible person on the platform and they really need their heads checking. The way she acted in that hospital uh, because of the fact that she was getting argumentative with them because she wasn't getting seen quick enough is ridiculous. You're only 40 grand a week, like you said. Go, go, just go to a private clinic and shut up. But instead, she seems to be nasty and horrible to the waiting staff and people around that are already going through a very treacherous time, but considering the fact they are in accident and emergency. They already have a lot on their plate, and the last thing they want to think about is someone filming them that is ridiculous. This entire TikTok live sphere is just so odd to me, and... I don't think it achieves anything on the platform. I think it just makes everything a little bit weirder. But what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. See if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. I've been Jake Vaz and I'll see you later. Take care.